good morning. It is Monday, September 9th, I believe, 2018, and it is freezing out here. I'm wearing a hoodie, and it's a hoodie I just made this weekend. Yup, 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 I did it. Um, yeah, lots of people inquiring about them, of course, and uh, we'll see if anybody actually buys them. So, let's see, this weekend was very productive but very laid back um so i did not go to the gym at all this weekend friday and saturday i had this migraine from hell um it wasn't even a migraine actually it was a tension headache and um i my hair. i left work with it on friday and uh, went home and was like, okay, I'm gonna have liquid crack to get rid of it. And I never did. Um, I figured it would go on a, on the way uh, on its own, away on its own. And I went to sleep at like seven o'clock because that's how bad my headache was. And then um, I woke up with it Saturday and did whatever I had to do Saturday, got everything done. I made a video, talked about um, what was going on, and then um, I was supposed to make a video yesterday and I didn't. And then uh, I just, I, it wouldn't go away. So I went, went to Dunkin' Donuts and bought coffee, um, and that helped. But that was like at seven o'clock at night because I, I couldn't take it anymore. Um, and it, that helped make it go away, of course. Um, so yeah, so that was what, what I did. There was no way I would have been able to go on a treadmill or go on an elliptical with this headache. Every single time I moved, every single time I moved, my head would pound. As long as my head was still, like if I laid down on the pillow, my head didn't hurt. But as soon as I got up or I moved, my head was pounding. So, um... Yeah, there's no way I would have been able to go to the gym and do all of that at the gym. Then yesterday I had a job interview at Kohl's. Um, so apparently this time of year they do group interviews. So I was with three other, uh, two other people. And um, so we'll see what they say. They, if we make it to the next phase, they'll send us an email in a couple days. And then we can go from there. Um, so we'll see. Um, I don't know. So this weekend, there's a whole lot of drama between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, and um, Cardi B went after Nicki Minaj, but Nick, Nick, Nicki was surrounded by her security and um, Ali Ali stepped in and punched Nicki instead. So, here's my thing. I, I don't like Nicki Minaj. Um, I don't listen to anything that she has. Um, I don't like her. I think she actually dumps down women by some of the things that she says. I am for some, you know, some of her rhymes and stuff. I am all for the good positive things that she does in the community because she does a lot of great things in the community for the girls so I am all for her on that part but as for like the um you know the videos that she does and and being fake and getting implants and surgery and all that stuff I'm not for that and and in her defense Cardi B has done the same thing Cardi B got boob job got you know butt implants Cardi she did all of that um Cardi B has said some controversial rhymes where she's talking about, you know, get yourself a man to pay your bills and all that. And I totally disagree with all of that. Um, I just think that Cardi B is not as fake as personality wise. Um, some of the interviews that I've seen Nicki Minaj do and um, just fake fake and uh, so yeah so that's the difference and um, 
although I don't really listen to Cardi B either. I don't really, I think I may have one song on her, on my phone of hers. I just like her, her personality wise. She's, she's more of a, more somebody I can relate to is what I can say. Not that like I've been a stripper or any of that stuff. I, no, but I'm saying she just seems more of like a real person to me than Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj seems like a barber doll, very fake. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, so move on. But again, I still support Nicki Minaj because she is making very positive moves and contributing to the female movement. She is so supportive of the little young girls and I totally stand behind all the work that she has done for those little girls. I just wish her music would reflect that because when you give into the bullshit, the bullshit outweighs all the positivity that you do. And so though she may not personally believe what she is rhyming or whatever it is, she may not stand for all of that. And there are some times where her rhymes are more empowering to women. But the majority of her rhymes, her music is about fucking and how she how she looks and how, how you know how she's the best. And I don't think that that empowers women. I think that actually hinders us because if you're constantly making yourself talking about how great you are and how much you love yourself and how you're the shit and you're the queen and you're Barbie and you're all of this but then you go and you get surgery and you do implants and you're doing you're being fake and I just don't agree with that if you're going to love yourself and you feel you're portraying that you love yourself and you're proud then you need to do that you need to love yourself and be proud of yourself and not go have surgery to have a bigger butt or bigger boobs or face done or whatever it may be you, now if you're going to do it for health reasons that's totally different but she's not doing it for health reasons you and I both know that anyway so move on so Cardi B went after Nicki Minaj and Nicki Minaj knew that this was going to happen obviously because the beef has been going on for a little while so when they went to this um art fashion whatever it was I don't even know what it is when they went to this thing um, security was tenfold and the event knew that this was a was an issue as well and um, yeah so they knew that this was an issue as well so they um, they fed off of that you know this is going to bring more attention because nobody knew about this damn event except for the celebrities nobody really gave a shit you know us regular people don't have time for that bullshit so now this is going to bring attention to that event so now they got free publicity um so here's my take Nicki Minaj claims to be this hood street chick okay you've been in the industry too long to be a hood street chick <laughs> You know, it's just like the Eminem and the um, Machine Gun Kelly thing. Eminem's a millionaire now. Like, what's he got to good to moan about? He's not poor. His kids aren't poor. You know, his mother's not poor. You know, I mean, like, his rhymes need to reflect his current status. And so with Nicki Minaj, her self-being should reflect her current status. And Cardi B is just acting like her current status. So she hasn't been in the industry long enough to weed out that hood mentality. And I think it's going to take a little longer for Cardi to weed out that hood mentality just because of who she is and she continues to stay grounded and in the hood and so therefore um, it'll be hard for her to lose that but it shows and and this is where the difference is I commend Nicki Minaj for making sure she had security to protect herself because her 
look herself is her money maker and so she's protecting her investment and I commend Nikki I mean uh, Cardi for being Cardi like this is who Cardi B is. Cardi B has no problem starting stuff or finishing stuff no matter where it is or what's going on. She don't give a flying fuck and that's who makes her real. That's why people can relate to her because she has not been tainted by the industry. She is still who she was back on Love and Hip Hop. Now, this is a, supposed to be a prestigious event, and, you know, they don't usually have events like this. And people will say that Cardi B makes the um, hip-hop industry look stupid, and nobody's going to want to invite the artist because of that. Shit like this has been going on for years, okay? Like, the Tupac and Biggie thing, you know, I mean, award shows had mass... Um, you know security because of all of the beef between them and you know this has been going on for a long time cardi b is not making it so that way events will not bring hip-hop artists to their events it actually brings more attention to the event and so that's what the goal is because most people won't watch it nobody like i said nobody knew about this damn event until um, you know, this whole thing happened. Nobody knew what the hell this was. So, you know, these two young ladies are, um, you know, you can't be mad at either one of them. Um, you know, you can't, the only thing I can say is that, you know, Nicki Minaj just needs to, you know, start representing who she is today and not who she was 10 years ago because she's not that same girl from the streets how can she be you know she's she can't be she's got millions of dollars now you know so she can't be that same girl from the streets you can't as your financial situation changes so does your personality so does all of that falls into place it does it changes because you're evolving, so your, mon your money's evolving, so you're evolving. And so you know how to act. Like, you know, 10 years ago, Nicki Minaj would have been Cardi B. You know, that, that whole thing would have been, you know, Nicki Minaj would have been trying to fight. I don't even know who was out at that time. But, you know, so I, I know Nicki Minaj had beef with plenty of other rap female rappers. So you just have to evolve and you evolve with your money and I just feel like what happens in the nowadays with the hip-hop industry is we're so focused they're so focused on making money 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 that they're willing to keep their music in the past even though they are no longer in that situation that would be like Will Smith rhyming about how you know he is you know broke and and from west philadelphia now nobody's going to want to hear his music because of that it's because we know that that's not true so you need to evolve your music needs to evolve and if it doesn't sell it doesn't sell so what you you're you're like eminem you're an icon there's no reason for you to have to come out and make this type of bullshit there is none you know it just makes absolutely no sense because now you're just diminishing all of the hard work that you put on your prior stuff and how great it is. Now you're just making yourself look crazy. You know, you're that old dude, those old, you know, musicians that when we were younger would come in, we would say, that's just an old guy just trying to make another buck on it. I mean, that's, that's all it is. And it's, you don't need it. And it just, it devalues what you've put in so that's just my thought for the day um so it's freezing so you know what i say the best investment you can make is an investment in you what are you investing in you today today i am i think i'm gonna go to the gym today i think so i'm gonna try to make it over there and um 
and we'll go from there. So you guys have a wonderful day and I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.